Okay, everyone, welcome. Sprite, you there? Yes, David, I am here. And Vic? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Well, good afternoon, everybody. David Gross with Condi Systems back with you again to share a little bit of our recipe for sublimation success. Today is part two of Expand Your Reach with an online store um, brought with our partner, Vic, at iPersonalize. Um, Vic, how are you doing? Well, sir, how are you doing today? Oh, good. Let me, let me get you on the camera here. Uh, there you go. And Sprite, are you with us? Uh, yes, sir. I am here. Okay, there you go. Um, did you say you're, you're in the office or not in the office? I think you're here, right? I am here, yes. I am in the office. I'm just uh, far away from everyone, an appropriate distance away. Okay. Well, we had uh, the first version, uh, what, uh, last week, and we had just an overwhelming number of people that were part of our presentation and also an overwhelming number of questions. So... Uh, this will be part two, and so if you folks will will lead the way. All right. Well, Brian, right, you want to start off or you want me to go? Uh, you know what, Vic? You can just uh, just go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, and, uh, that's because you are the boss, so we don't have to be, I, I, have to be on our P's and Q's on this. I don't know that. Well, it's not. Uh, off and I have some tools, but the reality is I know you can get me if you want to, so. It's, it's, it's Okay. Enough of that. This is part two of our ongoing conversation about how you can expand your reach and grow your business. And uh, obviously, what we're all in business ever to do is to make money and to uh, do it as efficiently and as we have as much fun as we possibly can. Uh, it's, a, it's a difficult challenge today. Um, uh, this, with this COVID-19 and everything going on, uh, uh, the good news is that uh, this is a good chance for everybody to, since we are at home anyway, to go ahead and learn something new and to, to uh, try to get, if you have a website, get it fixed up. Uh, if you're interested, it's a good thing to examine. Uh, I'm doing this with Condi, my partners, because we, well, we want to give back some, we want to do them every week. Uh, I really don't want this to be a, a situation where I'm, I'm not hard selling here. I'm just really trying to explain some options to everybody. And, and as Sprite did ask me to go into a little bit more what our sites cost and so forth and what we do. And I will do that at the end, but I want everybody to know that we're here to kind of uh, give you something, uh, some free information and, and uh, happy if that's what you get out of it, that makes us just perfectly happy too. Uh, product personalization, online product personalization as everyone has a gut feel for and everybody kind of knows but it's really really booming it has for years it's continuing to grow and this is a brief recap of some of the things we covered last week i won't dwell on it as long as i did last week but i, I just wanted to cover yeah. it again hey vic vic let me bigger. ask a, a few questions of you real quick um okay and um so you know i talked to a lot of our clients and obviously it's very easy, I think, to teach someone the sublimation process. Um, then you get into artwork and the challenges with that. But ultimately, the, the biggest challenge is, is sales and marketing. And um, one of the stories I tell in my classes is, is the story of Jesse James. Have you ever heard that story I, I tell <laughs> no, in my sir. classes? So, so uh, Jesse James, being the notorious uh, Wild West bank okay. robber, um, was approached uh, one day by a young lady reporter. And this reporter had been after Jesse James for a long time to get an interview. What uh -huh. she was particularly interested in is sort of getting into his psyche. And um, one of the very first questions of, of Mr. James to her was she asked him, why do you rob banks? And, and 
he really she really wanted to understand you know his psyche and he looked at her like she was absolutely crazy and she turned to her and said i rob banks because that's where the money's at um <laughs> and i think with personalization we often sort of forget that that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to go where the money's at. And um, I'd like to let you work your your store into a couple of themes that I know are popular. Number one is, I think everybody ought to be selling to organizations, fundraisers. They ought to be selling to schools, spirit stores. And I suspect you can you can come up with a um, we'll call it spawn a store for them that would allow them to have, we'll call it semi-custom merchandise that with a few clicks, maybe you're putting their name, maybe putting a photograph on um, artwork that's already been done with the school's, say, logo. Um, I bet they can get a sale in just a couple of minutes especially if something is happening at the school, like they're going to a tournament, um, there's, there's something going on at the school. And yes, our schools will go back into uh, session one of these days. So Some talk days a little bit go. about how our clients can pursue these markets that we know people will spend money. Absolutely. And that's some of the best business out there, David. I, you know, I talk to a lot of your clients as well, and a lot of them are not aware of the what we called in the promotional products industry, but which is I was in for 20 years, company stores or uh, company programs, we called them back in the day, even before there was the internet. But if you set up a, if you sell to an organization, uh, it's really wonderful because it, particularly with a company store, because um, you have a store and maybe the store is for their employees or their dealer network. A lot of companies have dealers out there that sell their products. Uh, there's safety programs. There's a whole variety and we can certainly get into one of the, all those kinds of programs that are out there. Uh, but uh, you know, those programs, once you get them set up, you, you work to get them set up, but after you get them set up, the, the orders just roll in all the time. And, and that's really when I got into the promotional industry in 1990. And I, uh, they, they taught us that, you know, you, you get the program business and you get a nice base of business growing, rolling. You know it's going to happen. They're going to need stuff. But also because they have that company or that church or that school has, they know that you have all their logos and all their information. You have a relationship with them several times a year they're going to have an event where they may need 500 or a thousand of something so they'll come to you for the what we call the special or the direct business other than the store business but if you have a base of nice a lot of store business uh, it's it's really a great way to grow your business and you're exactly right and uh, i sold those kind of things for years so i got to the point where i was selling american airlines I didn't have to sell too many of them, but the, when I got started, after a couple of years, I had about 30 of them going. And, and it, it was uh, wonderful because, uh, you know, it, it was really about a 30 hour week. <laughs> I'd yeah. talk to them and make sure everybody was happy. Vic, do you have an uh, example great, of a store? Great, grow your business. Is they have that, it's like an annuity rolling in, rolling in. I know they're going to give me some business. The employees Vic. need always going to need a shirt or they're always going to need a cap or something. Vic, do you have an example that you can show us? Sure, lots of them. Um, I'll let you just I, uh, do your screen share and and um, work okay. from there. Let me. I'm gonna let me go through here real quick. I'm gonna come to that exact point, David, because you're you're hitting right on it for us. Is that you know the, very briefly we talked last time about the fact that there are e-commerce sites that had shopping carts, and those those are the ones that you can check out with and, and pay money. There's also sites that are just content sites and, and those just show information. So we, we can go through that. Um, uh, but one thing I wanted to, you bring up a good point, David, is that, you know, a lot of folks get into these businesses and they think, oh gosh, 
it's going to be so wonderful. It's just going to go straight up. You need, you need to be a little bit realistic. Um, certainly in my journey on the right hand side of it, what it really looked like for me was winding all around. David, you may, you remember when I contacted you in 2013, uh, we were, I was all over the board and, and I kind of had to, you know, slap myself and focus. Uh, but you know, you, you kind of go around and, and you learn, but it's, it's a journey and it's, it's wonderful to go through. Uh, and I have learned things and, it's, and I'm glad that I did. Uh, but part of what I was doing was trying to take the, what I'd learned from the promotional industry and apply it to, to this business. And, and I quickly found out the first thing I didn't know and I couldn't handle was graphics. I didn't know how to really do them. And I, and boy, it stopped me cold. And I think as I talk to more and more people, I, I hear that quite frankly, that, that, you know, the, the, you know, it's a lot of folks can do it, but it just takes a lot of time when your customers call on you and they want to send a, they want you to send them a mock-up and then they want to go back and forth and you're just burning time, all, you're just burning a lot of time. So one of, one of the things that we can help folks do save time is to, is to let the customers create their art, let the clients create their artwork. And, and our designer will do that. And there's a lot of designers out there that will let customers create artwork. They're not all as good as ours, but uh, you know, you see them on websites and Etsy has this, I believe, where you can go in and key in on the side, a, a name or something, and then they send that to you with the order. Well, with, with our system, we do, we use live dynamic imaging where the customer puts an image there or they put uh, a logo there. They're going to see it immediately. And that's why it works. Uh, they are, they are a part of that creative process. They, they get, they get invested into it. Uh, it actually starts helping them build loyalty. Um, so it's, it's a great way to, to uh, satisfy your customer. And particularly when the order goes through and our system creates, sends them an email and says, hey, you, uh, thank you for your order. You're the, the store owner, uh, the Condi client is also going to get an email saying, here's your order. And we'll have two links in there. One link will be a little quick preview look at the thumbnail image that their customer already created. They don't have to worry about it. And when that customer creates it, they're looking at it going, yeah, that's right. And I like that. So they're basically approving it for you. All that's done. But you, you can take that image then and click on the next link and you can download the artwork and it'll be a JPEG and a PNG and a PDF right there. It's that live dynamic imaging that, that gets them in. And they've actually done studies on these things and, and it, there's a, they say that it closes 60% better. I haven't verified that independently. I haven't done that test, but that, that study is out there and in a live dynamic imaging, letting that customer interact with that product online and putting their photo or the picture of their pet or putting their name. That's, that's what makes it personalized. Again, product personalization is about people, their, their names, their images, their emotions, their relationships. Uh, that's what ties them into you. So, you know, sublimation just couldn't be better pr digital process for this. And, and, um, and it's relatively easy to, to print things. Uh, I tried it for a while. I couldn't do it, but it's, I, for most people, it's, it's, it's pretty easy. I burned my finger too many times, David, but, but I, I was better off with spreadsheets, but it's a great business. And, and, uh, this is a great way to market your products. Uh, another thing you can do is is do some drop shipping if you're if you're tight on time. Uh, certain, David, you I know you 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 have large format printing for folks that if they get a big order for mats or something like that, surely don't walk away from those. Those that's great business, and that's kind of, you know you want you want the you want the one offs and the twos and threes coming in regular, but when they get a big order, you sure don't want to turn it down. And you know Condi can certainly. Help uh, help you find a place to get that produced if they don't if they don't want to do it. I can help you as well, but certainly Condi, David, I know you can help them with very well too. Uh, drop shipping is a tried and true method. We have we have some other suppliers in there that do some other things. Uh, uh, we have some brands available uh, for bags, and these are more higher end items, but and typically better for the promotional products industry. Uh, which leads me back to your initial conversation, David. In the promotional products business, uh, it, the, 
the organization of that business is you have suppliers that are members typically of an organization called ASI, and you have distributors that are also typically a member of ASI. There's also another organization called PPAI that is the nonprofit wing, but it, it, essentially the organization is the same. And it's a great business because it's about a $23 billion a year. And uh, I think years and years ago, Dave, when we first started talking, there, there weren't that many sublimation products that were being used regularly in the promotional industry. But when you're working with a company and, and they want to have a company store for their employees, then it is really, a, a, you can, sublimation fits right in on so many products now. And it's a great way to grow your business. Uh, do, do shirts for them. Uh, if, if something you don't do, if they want some embroidered products and perhaps you don't do embroidery, well, then you, you can outsource that and have those drop shipped in. There's always an answer to get product in, but going after that, going after that corporate business or that school business, uh, booster clubs, uh, churches. I, I've got a gentleman in California that I, that, that uh, is a member of a Shadowwood uh, church, and it's a big mega church. And we're setting up a Shopify store. Uh, with departments and he's going to let them order in quantity. It's not, it doesn't have to be one-offs and, and you need to remember that. Yes, it's great to get these one-off orders or two or three in an order, but you're all these, all the websites, ours and everyone's included. You can, you can also have uh, bulk orders in there and put in tiered pricing where if they order, you know, 12 or 24 or 200, they get a better deal. All that functionality is available in these websites. So drop shipping is, a, is not anything to be scared of. It's just another way for you to, to focus on really what you said, David, selling. Selling is the key. And, and, that's, and, that's, and that's what you want to do. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to escape out of here just a bit, and I'm going to show you a couple. Well, stories. hey, Vic, I've, I've got a question. Um, so uh, Margo says, since I work out of my house, I can't stock all of the Condi products. How right. do I fulfill these individual orders that come in? Well, we, we, if, you, if it's an order that you, something you don't produce, our system, that's a next, very good question. I, and I did kind of skip over that, part, pardon me. If, if, it's a, if it's a product that you don't produce, when we set that product up, we we enable it to go to someone that does. It's called a GUID, Graphical User ID, but it's a little too technical. But what it, basically our network, our order management system will send that order to a supplier that does do that. So for instance, if you had a store and you were doing uh, lots of uh, phone cases and, and coasters and things, great, you're printing those, but you wanted to put floor mats on that are really big and you know you don't have the equipment. That, that could be set up to have that sent automatically to Condi Systems, you see, to do that for you. And matter of fact, uh, any, any products like that that Condi wanted to do, we just need to identify that product as something that they're going to produce that can be put in your store. And you don't even have to worry about it. it, it by the time your customer gets that confirmation email that they thank you for the order and you get an email saying, Hey, you got an order and look at, look at the artwork and all that. That order is already going to be at Condi. Okay. So they can, they can get it and it's going to can go right into production quickly. And we have other suppliers that do other things that can do similar type things, but, but uh, it, it drop shipping enables you to make at least maybe 30 to 40% margins. And yes, I know that if you print yourself and you're doing it, that you can probably make, 50, 60, 70%, maybe even more. But there are, there are times when you don't have the time to make that product or you just don't have the equipment that you need to print it. There's no, there's no, and, but you're, maybe you're doing a store or a company store for somebody and they tell you, I've got to have this. Well, don't be shy with that. Uh, we can get that handled. I'm, you know, uh, Quinn Condon and myself, we can talk you through that and get, a, get, that, get that supply taken care of. It's really pretty easy. You don't really do anything except count your money because you get your you get paid up front, and then the charge for the cost of goods sold, which you already know, is is taken out later, and you get to keep the money for several weeks before you get charged. Uh, usually, is what we do. So, 
Uh, here's a uh, site, for instance, that's a cutting board site that I uh, set up that is with a with a supplier in California. He this is a, he does closing gifts. This isn't a live site, uh, but I, I use it to to show what we can do. But he uses this site for uh, these products for realtors, and that's a great example of a corporate program that you could do if you have real. Everybody has realtors everywhere, right? If you go to one of their offices, and I mean, it's amazing how many people they sometimes have: hundred people, two hundred, three hundred salesmen in some of these offices. But even so, they're going out and selling homes, and and they're giving away closing gifts to their clients in which they want to have, they want to give that client a closing gift that the client will love and use. And so there's nothing better than going in and putting that, their family name here, you know, put their, put their name in here uh, and, and put a message on there, enjoy your new home here. You, you can see the point Hey, Vic, you need to uh, share your screen. Oh, I'm not? No. Oh, for goodness sakes. That's sad. Sorry about that. Excuse me. Wish you told me that earlier, Sprite. Sorry. Uh, gosh, so I was going past all, all these things and y'all didn't even see it, did you? Uh, but here's a, here's a site right here uh, that has welcome mats and coasters and so forth. This is just a demo site that we use to show uh, cutting boards. Are you seeing me okay now, Sprite? It's good? Yes, I see you fine. Okay, my apologies. I, I thought we were sharing that the screen. It probably didn't make, I probably need to go back through that. But anyway, here's, you know, here's a cutting board and there's coasters and all kinds of things that, that, he, that he basically goes and has set up a program with, with realtors all over the country. They go to his side and order. And then when they, when they, when they need one real quick and they, they come in and they basically, he produces the product for them, sends it out. It's, it's a beautiful deal. And the customers not only have, their uh, the information of uh, this well they have their name on it which ties them to it but they also have information about this about the realtor so every time they look at that product what a great promotional product they're, they're reminded that they were given this great closing gift by by the by that realtor who will, they'll tend to refer other business to them they'll tend to go call them back when they want to sell again in a few years uh, let's see what else uh, We've got a lot of stuff here I can show you. Here's a, here's a site that uh, uh, is kind of under development, but it, it has uh, balloons. And, uh, you know, I tell people sometimes they want to put 500 products on their site. And I say, boy, can you make 500 products look great? Because that's what sells them. Well, that'll take some time. Right. It's better to spend the time on a couple of products. For instance, this site just has these balloons. They do quite well with it. Quite well with it. With this product and not, not particularly in this site but you can bring in an image like this i'll bring in my our little logo one of our little logos you can add text you can make that smaller bigger rotate it around or do whatever you want to do i don't like any of that i'm, I'm put it all back the way it was uh, you know it's very powerful what you the, the, the designer can can do anything you want to do and it's and it's you're totally in control with these products about what you want the designer to do for instance on this one i'm moving this this around right here you see but if if you were doing a monogram or, or a design uh, or you had some artwork from a maybe you had to deal with an artist and you've got their artwork they may not want their these people to put their text right on, on top of their artwork do they so what we can do is we can we can lock this down, this text right here. I can make it show up right there every time. I can make it be a certain size. I can make it be a certain color if I wanted to. Now, this is particularly important if you're going to do business in the promotional products world, because in the promotional products world, companies do not want you to go in and, and have, you know, mess with their logo. They, they just, they don't want that to happen. They, uh, they all have graphic standards. They want that logo to be in a certain place. And then they might let somebody put a name underneath and so forth. Uh, what I want to show you here. Let me do this story. Yeah, let's do here. There's another story here I like. Let's see. <laughs> okay, here's a, here's a, uh, 
a store, a company store. This was done for the uh, Custom Strengths, which was a book that came out where you can where you can determine your five strengths and and people read the books. And uh, that was about 15 years ago. But right now they have about 5,000 people that are trainers that go around and help people that have read the book understand what their five core strengths are. So, uh, and so on this, on, this, uh, on this program, what the distributor wanted was to let all of these people that are out there come in and buy products that, that had their, their strengths there. So we set up again these uh, the drinkware, but they wanted this background there and they wanted them to be able to come in uh, let's see, Sprite, Wood, and we'll see what her strengths are. Which one do I want to say down here? She's an achiever. Uh, she is adaptable. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to say? She's, she is an includer. <laughs> uh, but you see the, the point here. You, you can, they, can per, they can come in here and design what they want. Uh, and then when they add the cart, uh, they check out. Everybody's happy. And, I and there, we all know what these things cost. That, that, that mug costs around, oh, to get it out the door, printed and so forth, maybe it costs 10 or $11. Well, you see that it's quite a nice profit on that. Quite a nice profit. So I've got a lot more examples. Here's a, here's a site we built for jelly beans, My Jelly Belly. I'm sure many of you have heard of that. It's a... Uh, uh, we built this for Nassau can Candies based in New York on Long Island. And, uh, and so they wanted a, a site that lets people decorate the tins that they have. And so here's a good example of a product that, uh, that has a very nice description and which is a good time for me to make the point, which, uh, I like that it's important for merchants to realize is that the description along with the image you have here really needs to be as good as you can possibly make it. Because this is what everybody sees, but also is it is what Google searches the internet for. It searches for unique content. And I can promise you nobody else has, says this exact same thing that my jelly belly says about these, about this particular product. But uh, you know, and then and I personalize and all the people, all people like me, that are developers that build websites, we all have a database of products and we put them into stores, but the, the descriptions we have in there are what we generally get from manufacturers. And so I have descriptions in there that I've gotten from Condi and, and that's, that's fine. I appreciate having them, but what you need to do is go in and make them a little bit unique. Just change it up a little bit, make them unique, make them your own, say something nice about it, romance it a little bit. And, and that's how Google will find you. Uh, so there, this store is a little bit neat because they wanted to do some special things with it as far as um, having, the, having it come in. Let's see, front image. I think, did I do this last time? Struggle through trying to get this to work. <laughs> uh, it's, it, oh, put my logo on there. Where are my logos? We have several. But I can move it around, make that. Maybe I want it to be a little bit smaller. Let me make that a little bit smaller and so forth. This is great corporate business. Uh, add text. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to hit add to cart. And you, when they go to the cart, they'll see that it's a, uh, they'll see that they, they'll see it again. And, and then they can check out. So that's pretty cheap into 529. Well, I don't know about buy that. Um, here's a site, Duralux, that has, these are, this is a, a site that does signs. Again, uh, what if you have uh, a relationship with, maybe there's a company in your town or near you that uh, they need somebody to make little signs to put on doors and things like that. Well, uh, you can easily do that. And uh, this site it, it has all these signs for different kinds of uh, realtor, you know, outside street signs and parking signs and so forth. Uh, products can all be set up exactly the way you want. So this one says for lease, 
and so forth. You, you go over to the designer and the four lease is still there. We, all we want to change is this message right here. And so go in and do that and change the color, make it stand out and then hit add to cart. But this is called a pre-design and uh, these tend to sell much better if there's been a little bit of work adding some uh, graphics, uh, certainly a monogram has graphics around it and that you just allow people to put the letter in there. But all of this right here, all of these, these controls right here are totally controllable by, by you, the merchant, because you know, this is where your creativity and, and uh, what you design, uh, we, can, we can make it happen. So it will. So it Vic, will let me make sure I understand. Vic, so you would have these pre done templates there yes, on sir. the site. They would choose the one that's closest to their needs, personalize it, and then buy it. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And, and uh, on our corporate side, if you're doing one for a church or school, and I've, I've done many, uh, they, the school many times will, uh, you know, uh, I did one for our school district, Corpus Christi School District. They had 15 schools. And so each school, of course, had their own name and logo. And then they had booster clubs, uh, which all had their own, their own logos and everything. So uh, that's what they wanted to use. Now, so you have a couple options there. How do you, how do, you do that? Well, one way is to go ahead and put uh, uh, every product up, set every product up with every logo. And that's, you can do it that way. But the other way is to set the product up one time and to, to set up a gallery of all the images. So if, if they're going to bring in an image that's always going to be on a mug in the right, same spot, as maybe it's the name of the school, for instance, they can go into this gallery there, click on that, and it pops over. It's done. And that's a very efficient way. You know, you, you don't have too many products uh, hitting them in the face on their, on their website. You just you have it one time, but you've got effectively variants of that, maybe 15 or 20 different variants of that. So, hey, so, Vic, Vic, so from a, a store point of view, um, do you, do you, can you have one store and then spin that off to address, say, um, the school spirit store? Or does it require yes, a, a, a completely unique store? How do you, how do you spawn these many, many stores? Well, what we do is with the uh, with your with this startup sublimation offer that we have right now, you can actually have three stores. Okay, and this is in our Magento platform. You can have one store for yourself, one store for your church or school or anybody, or and and the other store for anybody else you want. Uh, and it's all right there in your system. I'll show you one that we have actually live right now in this system right here. Uh, I do these three stores for a, a distributor that's actually up in New York. Uh, and I'll show you how our system works. So you see, I'm in the GAN Academy, which is, a, which is the name of the store. But right here, this little tab right here, boom. There's actually three stores right here. So as the, as the Condi printer, I can go in here and say, oh my goodness, I want to, I want to change the, uh, this store right here on the Schwarzman Scholars. I'm going to change it. Let's go look at that store real quick. Up here, I go view. There it is, Schwarzman Scholars. And you see the, the products and, and uh, everything that they're doing. Okay, you do virtually anything. Uh, now, let's go look at the other store, CNS Family of Companies. This is a corporate account. It's not a, it's not a school. But, but on this one, uh, let's go look at that one. What happens is they can come in and uh, this is for employees. This company has, uh, I think five or six different divisions. And so here's a North Face jacket they want to do. We'll let them pick that, they'll personalize it. And when they come into the designer, again, I was talking to you about galleries. Well, here's those logos that they're allowed to put on this product right here. So they can select the one that fits them, that, that, that they're allowed to use, and then buy it. So this is a slick way of doing it. So that, that one 
99 bucks uh, gives you the chance to have a store for yourself and then two more stores. It all operates right here and you can control every bit of it, uh, of the store. You know, it's, it's, this is for one store, this is CNS. And then you can come over here and go work on GAN Academy, this GAN Academy. Then you can come over here and work on Schwarzman Scholars if you want to. So it's just, uh, this is a, uh, this was, we were talking about doing stores and having these annuities set up. It's a good way to do it. And uh, three stores for $99 is, uh, is uh, not bad. So with this power behind it, so that we have. So then when orders come in, let me see what this store hadn't had an order in a little while, but this one has orders come in. Uh, you, you can quickly go over here and check in and see the artwork and so forth. Uh, let's say they paid uh, $12.20. Let's see, we got a bigger one here. I like bigger myself. Uh, there's another small one. But you see how this works, $176 on this one. Uh, that's just a quick look at the, look at it. If I want to print it out, I just click here, off it goes. But this is uh, very automated. You can go, then you can go in and pull in the artwork and it's all good for your order manager here and so forth. Um, uh, but having corporate stores or school stores, programs, whatever you want to call them, is really a fantastic way to build your business. Uh, I, uh, that's how I built my business when I got into the promotion industry. Um, but I didn't know anything about it either when I got into it. They had to train me and say, now do this. Now when these people, when that school are, has an event, you know, maybe they have a teacher appreciation uh, dinner where, they, where they're having dinner for, you know, 150 of their teachers. Well, okay, now you can go in and... Uh, do a do a order for 150 products and you know you want to do some personalization um that'd be easy enough to do you could you could add if you had their names you you can send us the, the, uh, that spreadsheet and we'll create the, the 150 images that'd be free to you we'll create those images and send them to them and you can print it uh, so Vic, so yes, you get three stores you're saying um yes sir and so you know, for instance, a school fundraiser, you know, would seem like a really good thing. Um, yeah. And many of the products can be, of course, essentially pre-made or some products can have an element of, of personalization. Or it could be simply, here's the fundraising product, um, buy it. Um, yes, sir. It could be, for instance, a license plate uh, for the school yes, or a license plate frame or you know, a shirt, you name it. So, um, and, and so basically, um, you know, I can see once you get started where you would probably want to, to expand beyond three stores. Um, yeah. So what's the plan there? Well, <laughs> I'll probably have a minimum charge. I don't know, David, maybe I, I, I can't, keep doing them all for that price but they're about 33 dollars a piece i guess we'd certainly probably do another one for 25 bucks or something if okay you, if you want they, are they all it. they are they managed separately or are they managed no. under one they would all be um, they would console. all be in that same system right there uh that i showed you where i was on that drop down let me see if i can find that back you know, like this one here uh oh, shoot it's all managed in the same place uh, in the e-commerce manager. I'm gonna have to bring it back up this way. Okay, and that's under uh, the Magento but, shopping cart. So in other words, from one interface, they can see their orders, they get their money, um, and then it's yeah. expandable beyond that um, for for a reasonable monthly fee. Yeah, it'd be very, yeah. So, it, right. I mean, you know, for, our, our for, cost is in setting these things up, initializing a store, and getting, that's where we hit costs, and we try to, we hope you stay with us and happy with our service and stay with us a long time. That's where we can, we can make some money. But, okay. uh, so, but it's a good benefit. I, you know, this, our designer, David, uh, that we have in here is, 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 is you know, with the Coca-Cola used it for their share code apparel program. It is state of the art. It's the, it'll bring... It'll give somebody starting off the chance to not be handicapped because he doesn't have 
the technology that the big boys have. With this system, you've got it. You've got the you've got the latest and greatest. Now, what they do that a lot of people don't do is the big comp bigger groups will go in and really refine their products. They'll come in and they'll spend, and I tell everyone this, you need to go in here and make sure this product looks exactly the way you want, that it that it's uh, you know, and, and the descriptions and so forth. That's where folks need to spend their time if they're if they want when, when they when they're starting the market, not not trying to operate this trying to build the store because we've pretty much already pre-built it. Uh, you have to plug in your information right here. Uh, you have to tell us down here whether you want uh, the designer to operate where they let people bring in images from everywhere, or do you want the designer to not do that, but to only allow them to select images from a gallery that you've uploaded. And it, that's totally up to you. Uh, but spend time on that and selling. Selling is where you make your money. And at the end of the day, if you can't sell, but you can print or you can operate a website, but you can't sell anything, you're not going to be happy. We all, you know, we all want to sell and make money. Um, so, Vic, I have a question for you. Okay. Can you have, uh, Paula on YouTube asked, can you have multiple school stores in one store and get statistics back for each one? Well, you're going to get statistics on all of them. What you could do, is these product categories here, uh, you can set one, and we've done this before too, these categories here, you can you can change those to different schools, uh, and that's been done too, and then when they click here, they see products that are assigned to that, that, that school has. Can I get statistics back? Well, you're gonna get statistics back on everything, every order that comes through, uh, you can run out a, a report at the end of the month, and it'll break it all down by the low, you know, all the data that's there, which includes which logo they use. So you can take that and and, and slice and dice that report any way you need to. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of ways to the data is all there and the reporting is there too. It's just however you want to pull it out. I have one more question from YouTube from Evelyn. She asks, is there a package at a lesser cost for a smaller business? No, we uh, we don't have that right now. Uh, we're, we are, uh, um, and, and you know, Sprite, we've been talking about uh, coming up with a, uh, a store that uh, we're, we think we want to do something else in Shopify that maybe uh, just have the Shopify uh, use the Shopify store, which is $29. Um, and, and then we believe we can give uh, folks access to our database that uh, has all the Condi products in it. And, uh, and we can do it that way. And that we're, we're still working out some details, but we, we may have an option like that later in the year. Uh, but um uh, you know, I, we have to make money too. It's like everybody else. Uh, and so we might make some money off the product, a little bit off the, every product that goes through on an order, but we just have to run the math on that and see how we can do it. We're, we're looking at it. Um, but we hope that the $99, uh, you're getting a lot of value for that and you're getting a lot of potential and a lot of power to, to go do it, um, uh, to get after it. Now, if you want to start less expensive, what you could do, is you know start testing the, your ability to even sell uh, personalized uh, personalized products. Uh, oh, that's not where I want to go. Let me go back to the marketplace. Everybody that signs up does have access to uh, Condi systems here on this on this side. Our personalized marketplace where they can go and, and create, um, use this for a mock-up generator, use, create mock-ups, send people examples of what they want to do and to get orders. Uh, this is, if, if you have a, uh, a store with us, this is free to you. Uh, and anybody right now can come in and if they'll sign up and they'll just give us an email address, no credit card, they can still go in here and take this product and create a mock-up that'll go right through the, store here just like a uh, uh, it says produce artwork only 
that's five dollars as far as somebody that doesn't give us their email address someone gives us their email address it's two dollars okay so uh, or if you have a a company a store with us and we're registered then it's free you can use all of those that you want uh, you can also come in here and buy any of this stuff for about 25 percent off if you just wanted to sample real quick uh, but um you know, we're, we're working on some lower cost options, but, uh, you know, it's, it's just a commitment. And uh, we realize everybody's kind of in a tight right now with COVID-19. We well, I think, um, so what Evelyn says is that she has her own website, but she just needs a way to allow customers to upload their artwork. Well, then, then if she has a Shopify, a big commerce, or a WooCommerce store, then this is the existing uh, offer that we have right if you have an existing store what we do is we integrate into it and and it takes us about three or four days to uh, go in and put some code into that big commerce woocommerce or shopify existing store now can we do other ones yes we can we can really do any shopping cart but my point is is that uh, we don't know about the other ones until we get in there and look at it it may take a lot more time and time is all we have to sell but if uh, the 3D cart, uh, there's a whole, there's really, I looked it up one day, there was over 110,000 shopping carts that came up in Google. Uh, and so, uh, but you can, but you can, we can add personalization by integrating into the theme of their store. And there's, I haven't found one we can't do, it's just uh, the Shopify and the Big Commerce and the WooCommerce are ones we do all the time. And we've got the price down on that to uh, $750 for the integration. And then after that, it is $99 a month. So um, that's a good way of doing it. If you already have an existing store. What else can I tell you? Well, um, we, we deviated from the slideshow, didn't we? Well, yeah, David came in and that was good. But I was, that was basically what the points I was going to cover anyway uh, at the end. But here, you know, we, we can kind of go on down here, Sprite, if you'd like. I'm, I'm flexible. Uh, people ask me, where do you find, where's your pricing at? Why are you hiding that? And I said, well, I'm not, it's right there under pricing <laughs> on our website. Uh, one, one thing is a lot of folks want to spell, our, spell it properly, which is I-Z-E, I but it's not. It's Y-Z-E right here. So it's ipersonalize.com, but it's a Y-Z-E at the end. And so if you'll go to pricing uh, there, you'll see that where I was showing you before the drop down and the startup store is a, it'll charge, it will charge you $99, but that's for the first month. And then you get your three stores, the premier sublimation store, which is our Shopify turnkey uh, edition store where it's got a lot more bells and whistles. Not that everyone needs it. Uh, the premier store is more for somebody that really does have an established, maybe has an established business. And I get calls every day from somebody that's not happy with their big commerce or WooCommerce or 3D card or their Wix or their Wibbly and they're, they're, they're in business and they want a real site that's really going to crank out some volume for them. Then we can build this new site and give them all the marketing tools in the world inside Shopify for the, to help them build the site. Now, typically, as I said last week, you know, before I, David, David Gross got a hold of me, I would, someone calls me up and says they need a new Shopify store. And I would say we're talking $2,000, which is not really expensive when you start talking about websites uh, for business reasons. But because I agree with David, we would focus on Condi products and start there. We'll add other things, of course, and we'll 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 do do them. We'll try to get more efficient at it and focusing that way. And we we've, we've been able to do that. We can live with this. Uh, we don't. Uh, it takes my team several days, and they cost money. Uh, but we can we can set up this premier store for you and get that going. Now, again, if you've got an existing store, uh, in Shopify, Big Commerce, or WooCommerce. The setup is 750 because you've already got the store, uh, even though, and I don't have to train you at all. With with the, the Premier and the startup, I am very happy to 
to spend an hour or two or three with you as much as you want upfront, going through online exactly how you operate the store. And we went through a lot of that last, uh, last time and, and we've been through the back end of the uh, startup stores. I, I'm happy to show everybody. I, I, uh, I do that a lot. I enjoy it, frankly. And uh, it's, it's uh, rewarding to me to, to see people get going and, and finally to get excited that they can operate this thing themselves and not have to spend any more money uh, on, on something like this. So uh, this operating a website should be the last of your problems. Printing good quality condi products is, you know, a good, great place to start and selling them. Printing them and selling them is, you know, the heck with the website. We, you know, that can be handled by people like us. We can get you going. Uh, and your site does not have to be perfect to launch. Uh, I've had folks that will work on it, work on it, work on it for a year. And they, I go, why don't you launch? And they go, well, I got this one more little product. And I say, you know, your customers don't really care that it's perfect. And matter of fact, if, if it's something wrong with it and they're trying to use it, they'll tell you. You know, they, they will, they'll let you know, and that's not bad necessarily, but you know, you, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. As a matter of fact, the, the best thing that they teach, the gurus teach is that you need launch as soon as possible for a lot of reasons, because you get it out there quicker, Google will find it quicker, and it just gets you on down the road. It does not have to be perfect. Uh, any other questions, Miss Miss Bright? Um, no, I think that's well, it. Um, I had a couple. So, um, how are we doing on time? So we're we're almost we have about done eight here. minutes left. So, you know, the the advantage of what you're doing is it comes preloaded with many of our products, and if you of course spot a product that that uh, maybe is newer or older that there is no product, you can put it on there. Now, I take it you've got blank photography of the products and you've got our, our our templates so then it's just a matter of someone selecting what products they want to sell um, setting pricing and then of course they can set um, I, I guess the back end allows them to decide what the shipping charge is and the the methods of shipping yes sir uh, it certainly does uh what what let's go here to again to that GAN demo i'll show you that uh all of these stores um uh, i mean this is all the same it's my stores products orders my accounts support my stores right here is where you set up your store and we've got 18 items here store name uh here's where you see the about us here's where you see the contact information the very last one down here number 18 is the shipping methods and so it defaults to free shipping, no. Pickup at store, no. United Parcel Service, no. But it defaults into yes, USPS. Uh, but say you wanted to uh, charge, for whatever reason, you just want to charge $5 shipping on everything. Well, you can do that. You can put per order, put $5 here, put yes. It'll do that. Now, what if, what if you want to be a little sneaky? Uh, I'll really look at it that way. But say you wanted to let the shopping cart do its thing, which is to go and take the weight of the product being ordered. And, and then, it, then it looks at the shipping address, that, which people put in when they're checking out. And it calculates, you know, the USPS, their server calculates how much that shipping is going to be. They all do it the same way. But if you wanted to add in a couple of dollars for your fulfillment or to make sure you're not under, under, then uh, you can add in that shipping fee and that number on this one, $3 would be added in to whatever comes back from USPS. So if it came back $5, it would show $8 there. So you've got all those little things there. Uh, sales taxes, e coupons. If you wanted to do coupons, uh, you can easily go here. Oop, let me get rid of that. You can easily come here, hit that little plus button and it's very simple. There's no reason to make it more complicated than it, than it needs to be. But you give it a name. I call it, there's some that I call it, some of them Victor, whatever you want to call them. Put the amount in there. It can be from one to a hundred, of course. It could be a percentage or a dollar amount. 
and you have a start date and an end date, hit add and you're good to go. You can give that coupon code to anybody. And when they go through the checkout process, it will give them that discount or that money off, whatever you need to do. So you, you don't need to spend a lot of time on this. Here's a, a I, this is part of what I go through with everybody when they sign up. I say, okay, let's go through there and get this done. Are you, are you going to want to use an image gallery? Yes or no? And they tell me. And we go through and we make, we get this part done because it's, uh, it's just not worth wasting a lot of time on. Here's uh, tax rules. Uh, that's easy to do because you just put in here what state you're in uh, and then uh, whether what your percentage is. And this includes shipping is kind of interesting. I didn't know this and, until about a few years ago. There's two or three states in the country that make merchants charge tax on the shipping, believe it or not. It's quite rare. And so as soon as we heard that, being the responsive, agile development shop that we are, we added this field here so that people could turn that on if they wanted to, but it's, it's it, you never know what's going to happen with this stuff, uh, what, what, what you might need. But uh, this is really a simple way to go. Now, I'm going to show you a little something here that's kind of neat. It's, uh, this is the uh, product screen, David. You see, this is, an, after you select up here, you come over and you, these are my store products. Here's a, we're on the list view of the products that are in this store. Now these products that are highlighted in pink are, are highlighted because one or two reasons, either they don't have a price and you don't want them to be on your site without a price or they've been unpublished. And so it's just saying these, these are unpublished. But right here, you, there's a tab that says virtual samples. So what you can do with this, someone calls you up on the phone, they're still gonna do that and they're gonna say, hey, can you send me a, a picture of what you're, what you're talking about? Well, you can go right here. You don't need to use Corel or anything. Just right here. Go here and, and select that product. And then you can create, using our designer, a, a sample of, of the, uh, what you're going to do for them. Maybe you're bringing in an image. Of course, I would pick one that's probably not set up properly. But, oh, but here we go. I didn't click the right button probably. We have this turned off on some stores, but the bottom line is we have that virtual sample. It's the same thing as a mock-up. Yes. Now, for the the various, if you have three websites, like for a school, you can have the same product on the school website at a different yeah. price is on your main website. Yeah. So here's the products that yes, sir. They can all be totally same product or totally different products. You can. So here's the products on Swartzman Scholars. They've only got these, what, 10 there. When I go over to uh, CNS and I go look at their products, well, here's their products. And when I go over to Gann Academy, there's their products. And they, they, we, we've turned off a few of them, unpublished them uh, right there. So, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is a uh, Magento basic site that we have. Well, we, it wasn't we, it was me that went through and designed the screen so that they would be just as simple as possible because I have a very simple mind generally. Uh, and, and I just know that I, it, there's no point in over complicating things. Uh, here's another view of the products there. We were on the list view there and here's the thumbnail view. Okay. Same basic information, but it, it shows you what the thumbnail is going to show up now. So you're looking at this and you go, I don't, I just don't like that. I'm going to change that. What, what, what do you do? Well, you click on it and upload a new image. It's that easy. Um, if you want to change the description, you go to and hit the little edit button here and you can go in and change all the parent description and everything there. If you want to unpublish, it's right here. You know, and I, I take everyone that signs up and uses this system. And it, and truly, this system is really a, is evolving into a, a real good place to start you know, and, and to learn some basics about what you need to know to have your own site. It, it's, it's, a, it's really a good training ground to get you to think about every, every component of a site that you probably haven't had to deal with before. For instance, here's Google Analytics. Well, how many people think about that? Well, you can, you can I, I explain to people, well, you can go to Google, can't work, Google, Google Analytics, sign up for a free account, they'll give you a code and you, you put it right here. And that means that Google's gonna track all the activity 
that, that happens on your site. So you go back into Google a month later, you wanna see what's happened. They'll give you a beautiful report of where people went, what they were looking at, where they stopped, where they went forward. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, so there's a lot of bells and whistles in this basic, basic uh, three-store deal, or store for yourself. This is great for you to market in your local or regional areas. Again, or to do B2B work, company to company, corporate programs. Again, if you're going to do, if you're a bigger company and you want to market around the country and maybe internationally, and you want to do uh, a lot of pay per click advertising with Google or Google shopping, those kind of things, then you ought to go into Shopify because this is this platform is not built for that purpose. That's more for a B2C or a, or a much bigger enterprise. So, but this these are perfectly fine. We've uh, done a say, lot of business. So, say, say that, Vic, say that last statement again. You said which, which platform is built for which? This platform, the e-commerce manager, these are the startup stores. And these are, these are built for, they're great for B2B, okay? Business to business, corporate stores are for you to market in your local area. So if you're a, a startup, a regional area, if you're a startup and you want to market locally, okay, and, and get your friends and family to buy, and you want to have a great looking website that they can go and, and show them and they can, they can see things. These are fine. These work for that. But if I'm just saying, if you're going to spend a lot of, if you, if you, you know, if you have a budget and you want to spend a thousand dollars a month on pay per click, uh, then are to find new customers. If you think about it, see these, these kids here that go to the GAN Academy, uh, they know who they are. They don't really have to use the paper, Google paper. They don't have to find them. The kids will find this site because they'll eat, they'll tell them all about it in the school. So they don't need that functionality. It'd be a waste of money. But if you're if you're doing a B to C store uh, where anybody in the world can come in and find this site, like this one's in Shopify, and you want everybody in America and Canada, maybe overseas, to buy this buy this product, well, you you might want to you you're probably going to want to be in Shopify for that. So because they have just a lot more tools for marketing uh, and to you know to, so to is, is the, analyze is the money car the same? abandonment things is, like that is the is the offer for 99 dollars for three stores the same or is it different uh well the shopify is the shopify side is either either they have an existing one which we can put we have to put the designer into it it does take us more work the, these little stores already have the designer built into our platform that we built. Shopify, we have to integrate our designer. Same thing with Big Commerce and WooCommerce. Or they can get a brand new Shopify store that will turnkey and build with them for a thousand dollars. So, that, you know, that's just a that's just the difference there in the time that we have to spend. But basically, they're all ninety nine dollars a month because after they're built, then we we basically have the same work supporting you. <coughs> so. Does that make so, sense? So, so for a Magento store, there's no setup fee, but Correct. for a Shopify, there is. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, that's correct. And if somebody, yeah. let's say somebody already has like a Shopify light store, it, it, do they have any options? Shopify light is not really a store. Uh, Shopify light is a, uh, you don't really get a website with that. Uh, what you're getting is just the ability to, to let Shopify host that, uh, and I'll bring up some of that. Let me, let me well, we're, we're running out of time, so what we may do okay. is, is have You don't a really have a store. That's, that's for selling one or two or three products. <laughs> and, that's, and that's an offering that we're trying to put together. I'm, I'm trying to work with Sprite to get a lower, an offering where if, I think a great thing for people to do is to test their products and try to sell one product, design and sell one product. And, and if, they, if they're not sure, maybe they bought a printer and they know they can sell, great. But if a lot of people that are fit, sitting on the fence, get started with sublimation, great product. See if you can sell one, two or three products. And that would be a, a good way to use Shopify Lite, which is $9 a month. Uh, the designer won't, uh, you know, there's a little complications there, but we're, we're working on something to uh, help folks in, that are in that way or uh, 
uh, get and, going. And maybe for part three, I would love to see some examples of of Etsy and Amazon integration. Um, oh, okay. So, um, a right. bunch of things uh, for a part three. All right. Well, uh, All right. Brian, anything else? Uh, I think that's it. Uh, well, I do have one more question on, on YouTube, and uh, Jamie's asked uh, if it comes with an app. So, can you use it on a mobile device? Yes, all of these, all of our sites that matter are all responsive design, which means that it'll work on a uh, phone, it'll work on an iPad, and it'll work on a desktop. Yes, so they're okay, they're HTML5 compatible. Okay. Yes, they're responsive, mobile responsive. Mobile responsive. Um, and then Evelyn, uh, Evelyn has a couple of questions on YouTube, and I'm just going to suggest that she call you. Um, so I'm going to give her oh, your uh, questions. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think it's a, it's a little more than we have time for. So all right. Um, all right. So part three coming up uh, Wednesday. Does that Wednesday. work for you? Worst all right. Good, good deal. Well, thanks everybody. I know we lost Facebook about five minutes ago, but that's okay. Um, we did. Thanks for sticking with us on YouTube, and oh, thanks for being here did. with us, Vic. You got anything else, David? Uh, that's it. So we'll we'll upload it. Upload the YouTube to Facebook, okay? Yes, sir, will do. All right, All right guys. Take care. Thanks, Bye. everyone. Bye-bye.